All right, I'm back. I mean, it's pretty obvious you can tell I'm not having a good time. This, these final battles are tedious, annoying. The other new mechanic with this cannon kills Lazelle. Now I gotta figure out how to revive her. Like, this is a fight that if it was a straightforward fight, which is what you want, it would take five minutes. And instead, this is gonna be another hour fight because the game is designed to annoy you. And I really don't like this at all, and I just want to get to the end. But instead, they have to put all this before the end just to, to draw it out as maximum length as possible, right? Like, anything they could possibly do to make it more drawn out and annoying, they are doing. So it's hard to enjoy this end. It really is. Um, I received a $10 tip from Guru Ligma. There's a long, there's a long rest station up ahead. Enemies will constantly respawn until you get to the top. That's what we're trying to do, but as you see, I'm trying to get up there, and then I get shot back down by these cannons. It's incredibly annoying. Again, it's there's a difference between challenge and annoyance. Like, you know I'm going to do it. It's not challenging. It's just time-wasting, right? It really is. This is not a challenging fight. If they wanted a challenging fight, instead of having the mechanic of the cannon and everything, they would just put a bunch of tough enemies here that you have to face and be smart to fight, but instead, that's not what they're going for. They're going to annoy you at the end of the game and make this as drawn out as humanly possible. So let's make it so that you have to push statues. Let's make it that the cannons are constantly in your face, right? Let's do everything possibly annoying so you can't enjoy the end and just see the final end. Just fuck around instead, so I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to fuck around. Genesis Gaming says, I confirmed there's something wrong with YouTube's upload tool. I uploaded through my editor, and it worked. So, okay. Hopefully, hopefully that'll be fixed by, by later today. I really don't want to have to edit every single video out of the, the stream. But I guess we'll see what happens. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, Genesis Gaming. My genie didn't get pushed at all. He didn't even care. I can't see the area of effect of the Thunder Wave. Because it blends in with the floor. So I literally can't see. Now, nah, I guess not. I guess it's limited. Let's have him walk forward into this fire. Neither, none of them died. Oh my god, none of them died. Okay. So now he's stunned Carlax, and so now, of course, you know, we can't actually uh, get to where we need to get. She's not going to be able to move. She'll have no turn. What happens if he just opens the door? Who we're trying to get. So I assume we need to get the whole team in here, right? Can I not revive Lazel? Of course I can, but I need to have someone who can, like Shadowheart, and it's not her turn yet. I can't do shit. He's so he's charmed. And now there's gonna be reinforcements coming here. Wow, this is incredibly annoying. One person is enough. So what if I walk in here like this? We're good? That doesn't even make sense. Now Lazel's dead, by the way. She's not revived. I love because they didn't even explain what you were supposed to be doing there. That you were supposed to rush it to, to, to get to this scene. You think, oh, you have to get your whole team there. No, just rush it. Well, how would I know that? You don't. 
You don't know shit. The game explains absolutely nothing. So we have to revive Lazelle, but Lazelle's not here. If we do this, does Lazelle come back, or do we have to actually go restore her from her death point? Right? Like, how the fuck does it even work? Who even knows? Right? I don't fucking know. Here, I'll do a short rest. Actually, no, we shouldn't. We have to manually revive her. But now the enemies are still out there. Right? So now we're gonna have to get through all those enemies regardless. Just there'll be no airstrikes. No? Now there's no enemies? The enemies have disappeared. This game is something else, man. The enemies just magically disappeared with no explanation. My faith will guide me. Now let's go rest Forward. up. Jesus. Fucking game. Sounds like this is the final fight coming up, right? It sure does. I have no idea what's down there, but I think what happens is you could have went either way. Like, you could have either gone this way, or there was another way you could have done this same sequence, but in a different direction. But either way, I think that we've, uh, we've made it. <laughs> right? Alright, you guys ready? Let's... Let's just make sure we save before we heal, just to make sure this fucking works, right? And then let's do a second save. Okay. I took a harder route? Oh, great. Uh... So, wait. Oh, we don't get it back. Okay. I was gonna say, wait, should I do something new here, but... Yeah, here we go. I need to do Kreska's favor. Okay. Now. She kept her summon, which is cool. Do we want to keep a level 6 spell <clears throat> right now for Shadowheart? Or do we want to do a feast? Do we want to do a feast before the final fight? Right? Hmm. Would the feast help in the final fight? I wonder. Do the feast, you think? You don't think I'll need this level 6 spell with with uh, Shadowheart? I don't need the food. Don't bother. Yeah, but doesn't it give you the, the boosts? Oh, wait. We still have them. Oh, we still have some of the boosts. The only person that doesn't have it is Lazel because Lazel died. We already have the, the feast boost. Take a look. Everyone but Lazel already has it. So, maybe the feast would be a waste here because we already have the effect. Right? Do I have aid? The spell aid? Yeah, I have the spell aid. Can't afford to stay idle. I don't know where the fuck it is, but I know I have it. It's here somewhere. Where is it? Oh. Uh, hey, there it is. Kill your allies and increase their hit point maximum by five points. And it's only five. Uh huh. Don't forget about your allies and full rest potions. I think we have two full rest potions. I think we only have two, but I don't know who there who has them. Everyone gets five bonus hit points, basically. Not a huge deal, but it's something. Level 6 aid? Oh, you're saying you do like level 6 aid, is what you're saying. Use the level 6 spell now. 25 hit points. Does it really matter? I think we're just gonna do it. Fuck this. Alright. Let's just do it. Find the brain stem. Let's just do it. It's taking too long. 
Thanks for conveniently having the brainstem hanging to the brain. That was a smart move. Wait, if I'm dangling, where's everybody else? Oh, they're right behind me. This is a death-defying fight. You know, if we fight it up there and it dies, we're gonna go down with it. I don't know if this is a very good idea, honestly. Kick it in its lobes, in the dangling lobes. What now? What the hell? There it is, the crown of Carsus, the site of power, the site of domination. Looks like that crown could use some nether stones. If these things were ever going to work. It's now. I hope Carlac survives, but there's not much we can do about it now, right? Pretty much, we're boned. Whatever happens, happens. Emperor is our enemy now. We revealed he's evil all along. That face. Yeah. The one in my dreams. Let me guess, they each had a dream visitor all along. They were all being visited by the Emperor throughout the game, you just don't know that. I think that's what they're getting at here. Let's take a look. Dream Guardian. This is your Dream Guardian, is it not? Yup. But there's other Dream Guardians. So everyone had a Dream Guardian visiting them over the course of the game. Eternal Napalm, yes, I made a good choice by refusing the Emperor. I revealed this right as we... Oh, fuck. A dominated red dragon? Oh, I don't like the sound of this. Physically dominated. The dragon is being controlled by the deep, twisting grasp of another brain's psychic might, and it's immune to fire. Oh, God. This is gonna be a tough one. Um. But, yeah. They were all having the same dreams and having guardians talk to them. And the Emperor was lying all along. It's revealed in a cutscene we didn't get that the Emperor mind-controlled Duke Stelmain back in the day. He never was friends with Duke Stelmain. He completely lied about it. And basically, he's the reason she died. And it's his plan to actually just dominate everyone forever. But he needed you as his tool to take out the Netherbrain and get the crown. So, when you turn on him and say, oh, I'm not going to give you the Nether Stones, he realizes he has no chance to beat the Nether Brain, and so he allies with it instead. Yeah, it's a really fucked up situation. He even says it. He says it right in the cutscene. He says, you will do what I tell you. You are just my tool. I will dominate you, like, forever. Like, he says this in the cutscene to you. That, missed. I didn't get the cutscene because I didn't have that dialogue where I refused to help him. But that's what he does. Basically, he's like, he forces you to help him over the course of the game, no matter what. It's pretty fucked up and evil when you really think about it. Uh, and then he, he pretends like he's your friend the whole time. He's just lying. Anyway, this is it. After this, I guess after this fight, there's another brain fight, and then we're done, right? So there's two more fights in the game, I guess. Man, this looks pretty tough. Can we, can we target the brain? I don't know if we can target the brain or not. Oh, wow. These guys have different shields. Breathe an ice-cold flame. For the enemy sheds light in a radius as resistance to fire and, and heals cold damage if someone hits them.
He's resistant to cold and deals fire damage to those around him. Wow. The goal is to get Orpheus to the crown and to use the stones. So you don't have to kill everyone as long as you can get Orpheus to the crown. Okay. Interesting. So what do you think? You think this is a case where we just call all the allies? Because Is this truly the final fight of the game? Because if so, I'm going to summon all the allies. Fuck it. Just flood the whole fucking map with the allies. There's no other reason to, to use them, right? By the way, this is the last time you can even summon allies? Okay. By the way, I received an incredibly generous contribution. I just received a one... Hundred and fifty dollar tip, and he says in Asterian's voice, "Oh, final boss hype! I can't wait for your Dark Urge playthrough." <laughs> oh, too bad I'm not there for the final fight. Oh, all right, one hundred and fifty dollar tip, which means we are gonna have obviously the Viking hat for the finale. Okay. Obviously. Now, I don't know about what vest. I guess we should do a poll for the vest. But, oh. It's so bad that I'm not with you for the final fine. Oh. It's okay, though, because you know what? There's one thing that I can say, all right? Through this 140 hours of the playthrough, at the very least... At least at here in the final hour, we can summon gold grind. Oh, gold grind, you sack of potatoes, you. You vile piece of garbage. Only you weren't dead. Maybe you would be in the final fight. <laughs> All right. Let me get the Viking hat, and then we'll figure out the whole situation, and then we'll do the final fight. Go grind, oh, go the grind, the grind, the grind, go the grind. Oh, go grind only got coal in the stockings for Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we'll do a poll for a vest, and then we'll get into this. By the way, May Rumi, I apologize. I don't think I ever shouted out your super chat. I was so annoyed by this the end game. So, which vest is BG3 finale best? Would it be the gold vest for gold grind? Or how about the original beige? How about... The McFly vest, or how about a denim vest? There you go. Goldie, 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 grind. You are such a piece of shit. And I hate your guts still here at the end of the game. Oh, let's see. So, who should we summon first? Should we... Man, anyone have a recommended order? I mean, holy shit. It's it. First of all, we should get the Hellrider platooning because it says they're going to go to the front lines. So let's bring in the Hellriders. Right? Let's bring them the fuck in. If they die, it doesn't matter. Aelin, she's immortal. If she dies, she comes back. Is that true? I want the ox. I want them all. Oh, Burns of Pato says, do you check it out for the elements? Wall of Fire should be used right away because they're grouped together so use it right away. You mean Kithraki Inferno is what you mean. That's a good point. Let's do that. Let's take a look at this. How does that work? You just select where you want it. By the way, hold on. Astral Gravity. Gravity in the Astral Plane is different than on Farin. The affected entity is immune to falling damage and its jump distance is tripled. Volatile shield. The fact that entity has been granted temporary hit points by an elithid. These are removed by incoming damage. The shield bursts, possibly stunning nearby foes. Okay. Hmm. So I wonder 
If I use... See, I don't know how the wall works. If I put it here, will it just land right in front of them all? I don't really know how it works. That's the problem. By the way, he's immune to fire. You select a starting point, you draw a line. How, how far does it go? Oh. Well, that's far. Okay. Let's do it. Here he comes. That worked. That was a cool start. Alright. And for probably Frenzy turn one. Boy! And likely we want to separate. We don't want to be standing next to each other. So if they do area of effect, it won't hurt us. So I'll probably move her down here. Okay, that's her turn. I will ascend. Dominate. All right, Lazelle. You don't get the placement. What do you mean? They have to get through it to get to me. What do you mean you don't get the placement? I hit two of them, and they have to walk through it to get to me. Why is that bad placement? Shut up. Okay. Uh, shape shifting monster. No. We get put Dame Aelin in. She gets a turn, and can't she summon more? We should get the people who have turns. Allies cannot summon. Damn it. I wish they could summon on their turns, no? Is she really immortal? Like, she can't die? I have four turns before it gets much harder. Well, I have to move Orpheus to the platform, correct? That's who I'm trying to get to the platform, Orpheus. <clears throat> Aelin cannot die. Oh, shit. We should get her in first then, no? All right, let's get her. Let's fuck her, put her right in the middle of all of them then, right? Fuck that. What the hell is that? A tentacle came out of nowhere. A stupid tentacle appeared. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Is it her turn? Oh, it's her turn. What does she have? Lunar Smite. Engulf your weapon in Saloon's Light and additional radiant damage inflicting Holy Flame on a hit. But it takes your entire thing. Damn, it takes everything. Please, where she can hit three enemies at once. Almost strike. She doesn't have any abilities, actually. Not that good. She moves. Stupid attack of opportunity. I was going to say, can she hit them with cleave? But no, she'll probably... Yeah, she misses Emperor. Fuck. Fox Boulder. 10, 19 months as a member says, I want to believe. It's an X-Files quote. I'm well aware. I guess we could attack the dragon. Or we can attack the stupid tentacle. Or we can attack the emperor. Man, I don't even know who to attack. I'll attack the emperor. I lost my turn? What happened? It grabbed her. Oh, I didn't even understand that. I didn't know that it could grab her. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, that really sucks. So much for that. Yes, Madara, I have to fight the Emperor because I told him he could not get the nether, use the nether stone, and he turned against me. Because he revealed that he's actually evil. If he if he is is at the end of your playthrough, if you gave him everything, you basically did the bad ending of the game, just so you know. And you wouldn't even know that because the game won't tell you. Fucking tentacles everywhere, dude! God damn it!
Hunt the goals. Beasel says, do you recommend people play the game and did a 21 months of support update? Sure. Why not? Why not play? Why wouldn't you? That's the question you should ask yourself. Why wouldn't you play the game? Can I free her from the tentacle? Maybe if I have Lazelle jump up there, she can hit the tentacle and free her. Right? Work? Try it. Oh, wait. That's only her bonus action. Shit. Yeah. If I do that, she has no regular action. So there's no point. I guess I'll just hang back then. I'll just hang back for now. Oh, wait. I could do action surge. So maybe I jump up there, I action surge, and I kill the tentacle. Okay. I killed it instantly. She's free. She gets her turn again. Cool. That worked. It's kind of like, do I wail on the Emperor? Or do I go for these Dream Guardian idiots? They just reduce the numbers up here. Right? Hmm. He dropped his weapon. Holy shit. Wait, why is she stunned? Oh, because when you break the force field, it does an area of effect attack? He dropped his weapon, dude. He can't even do anything now. He's fucked. Well, that worked out well. Try a troop attack, too. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, the Emperor just got fucking rocked, dude. All right, I will definitely do. Next weapon attack is an attack roll bonus equal to your superiority die. Remember, I was going to use it, right? And evade it. Oh, that's going to use a superiority. I don't want to do that. Okay. All right. Good shit. So, I mean, I have a choice here. I can try to finish him now, or I can summon a, 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 you know, another ally. But I feel like I should just finish him quick, right? So that way we don't have to deal with him anymore. Yeah, we can chain lightning him from here. I think that might be it for him. Let's do it. Ready? The Emperor just died. That was easy. And we killed the tentacle. And it hit the red dragon for giant damage as well. But that was cool. That was worth it. Wait a minute. Couldn't I technically use... No. It would be a spell. Never mind. I thought I was going to get an extra turn to summon an ally, but no. Killed the fucking... I killed Baldurin. Yep. The founder of Baldur's Gate is dead. I just fried his ass. So much for his ass, right? He sucks. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Uh, excuse me. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. If I do Chain Lightning again, because I could do it again, I could kill this Dream Guardian and this Tentacle, but I don't know if it would chain into the Red Dragon. I wish it would. Because it's kind of a waste if it only kills those two. It's such a powerful spell. And I'm debating what to do here. No, my mic does not have any mute button. No, there's no mute button on this microphone. Nope. No, there's never been a button. There's no buttons on this mic at all, actually. Nope. Uh, if I do this, and then I do this, and I do this. It looks like it would hit the dragon, no? It looks like it would chain into the dragon. Actually, if we do this, it should hit them too. Oh, I'll just hit the dragon then. 
No, it's, it's 72% chance. It's a 90% chance to hit the tentacle. It worked! It killed the two? It killed him It killed him two! Oh, shit! It killed three enemies at once. It killed these two. It killed this Dream Guardian. And it hit the dragon. And the dragon's down almost 100 health already. Wow. And we just started the fight. Alright, Gold Vest is winning. Let's get the Gold Vest on for everybody. Yeah, this is a pretty darn good turn one. I mean, it's because the Chain Lightning is so good. Now what I should do turn two is start casting haste on everybody, right? Gold grind. Oh, you shine like a bright diamond in the sky. I should just say gold. I should say gold vest from now on. Gold vest. You are the very, very best. <laughs> All right. Gold vest it is. Oh, gold vest. You have stood the test of time. Uh, well. Hmm. Do you know the stone's magic to control the crown of Karsus and dominate the nether brain? That's what we're supposed to be doing. I don't know why that wasn't enabled. I guess the question here is... Do I want to go all in and just try to get him across the map? Because it's kind of dangerous. He only has 150 health. And even if I... Let's say I, I fly him over here, right? These guys might start piling on him. And then I might be in trouble. I almost feel like I should wait. And have him attack... Try to attack some of these enemies. And until we have a clear path, right? Good afternoon, Red Bandit. He says, glad to see you in the end game. Thank you, Red Bandit. I think this is the final fight, right? Yeah, Rubber Stack just says, if Orpheus dies, it's game over. You need him to win, so... So I feel like Orpheus should not be rushing forward going crazy here. He should be more reserved until we have the enemies cleared. Oh, he can summon backup? No, he can't. Orpheus cannot summon backup. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, uh, let's move him to the side. He evaded the tentacle. Nice. That was actually cool because we got to see the tentacles there, right? Uh. Tentacle whip, he actually has to be physically next to something. I don't want that. Mind Blast! You can hit both of them. Alright. Let's try Mind Blast. Immune. Saved, but they did take damage. What I don't understand is that you can do a second attack. That's a normal attack. That's weird. I'm not going to do this because this is going to move him. Concentration Blast. worked. Alright, that's it for his turn. Okay, um, hmm. Does she have haste? No, she has misty step. She doesn't have haste. It's Karlak that has haste. And it's also Lazel that has haste. If I wanted to, I could summon a second planar ally. Or I could just wait and use, like, a really good spell later, a level 6 spell. Not sure what to do with her, actually. I might just summon more allies. I want to get bodies out there. Jurger, maybe?
Let's get the Iron Hand Grenadiers out here. Let's have them chuck some grenades around. Let's have them back up Orpheus. I want them to back up Orpheus. Hopefully they, they do some damage here. Okay. And then as her backup... You know what? I should have her go with Orpheus. Should I not? I should have her travel with Orpheus and protect them. Absolutely, I think. So that'll be a party that'll go up the left side together. These three, these four. I think that's a good idea. But how do I get over there without triggering that stupid tentacle? Hopefully I can do this. Let's find out. I did it. No, I didn't! Ah, oh, it missed! Oh, I got lucky as shit. It was about to grab me. That was good. Okay. And then... I will put Sanctuary on Orpheus. Therefore, he will never take damage. A beautiful move. There we go. That was good. Alright, Grenadiers. Do your dirty work. Did it work? What happened? Caused blindness. Why did they walk into the tentacles? It's really weird that they walked into the tentacles. They're not very smart. I agree with you. I hate that YouTube chat defaults to top chat because sometimes you miss a lot of messages. It's really dumb in that way. Magic missile on multiple targets. It's only level one. Oh, I don't care about that. It's only level one. It's not going to be a big deal. So I'm not going to counterspell it. That was Dame Aelin anyway. I don't care. <laughs> I wonder who he's targeting. Can you tell who he's targeting? How do you tell who he's targeting with that spell? Can we tell who he's targeting with that spell? I counterspelled it. It died from the flames. Who'd he hit? He hit Dame Aelin again. They're all targeting Dame Aelin. Wow, they really don't like her. They also hit Lazelle, but they mostly hit Dame Aelin. I can't even see what's going on. Damn, she got fucked up. Lizelle got fucked up, too. Can we get to the dragon? I wonder if we can get to the dragon. It landed... It's trying to attack Karlak right now, basically. I could take out the Dream Guardian and, again, try to assist with Morpheus. Or I could go for the dragon, right? Not enough movement. Can I get to the Dream person? No. I have not enough movement to attack anyone. Your movement sucks. The dragon actually killed Dane, but she rose from the dead. Oh, wow. It says... No, it says she can reach it. Okay, let's do the better attack, then. Let's do the Lunar Smite. Two more tentacles. Jesus, these tentacles, man. These tentacles are serious business. He gets an additional attack. Cool. Dodged. Fucking piece of shit. Lunar blessing. Strange people in a pillar of light inflicting moonbeam on nearby foes. Oh! Once per battle only. So if she does this, she'll attack... I guess she'll hit all three. Do you think she'll hit all three of these? I can't really tell. Like, would she or would she not hit all three? If she did, does, maybe I'll do it. I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna fucking do it. No, it only hit her. Wow, that's super lame. That's a super lame ability. 
I can fly, but then it's going to get attack of opportunity, so there's no point. That's one full turn. Well, Karlak, it looks like it's you and the dragon at this point. Because the dragon landed right next to her, right? I think I should cast haste. She has it, right? No? Who the fuck has haste? I guess it's Lazel that has haste. I thought she had haste, but I guess not. I guess I'm just going to fuck up the dragon. As much as I possibly can this turn. So we'll do menacing attack. Oh wait, I have the giant enemy special. Do I have it? Topple the big folk. Ready for this. Wait a minute. Why did I get 210 experience for that? I have no idea. I gained experience points. I don't even know why. Threatened and reeling. I don't know why we got that. Why? I have no idea. Use a potion of speed, people are saying. Okay. I used it. <laughs> 18 to 28. 22 to 32. We'll do 22 to 32. I get a third attack. Wow! Critical hit! And she gets another attack. She's just chopping this dragon up. So I believe she has haste. Yes, she does. Celestial haste. Requires concentration, though. So, what do I want to do? I probably want to heal, but then I probably want to attack and try to do max damage. But who do I attack? I'm not really in range of anyone. I guess, oh shit, she can attack the dragon? Oh wow. That's true, she has the transformation ability as well, right? I don't remember where it is though. She has the ability to get huge. I don't remember where it is. I thought she had it somewhere. I don't see it. I thought she had the ability to grow, but now I don't see it anywhere. Unless she doesn't have it anymore. I don't think she has it anymore. Alright, anyway. So. Well, I guess we'll try to kill the dragon. Right? Let's try to kill the dragon. So. Let's hit it with a goading attack. I will not know failure. Nice. Did big damage, right? Yeah. Now I get my bonus. No, I don't get my bonus attack. I thought it was a. I thought that was a special attack. I guess it wasn't. Darn. Soulbreaker. God damn. I think I'm probably gonna do second win. This dragon is fucked. Yeah, and now I'm gonna do I'm gonna do second win to get some health back. Okay. Whew. Can't even catch my so I could summon more allies, which I probably want to do, but I also want to cast haste on the people who need to move fast. Them. One day I'll catch a break. Oh, come on! Come the fuck on, dude!
I seriously can't get over there to cast this. This is getting stupid. I can't get over there because I have no movement. So I can't move over there. Right? Farlock can grow now. She's the one who has the sword. Oh, I see. We swapped people. Yeah, I totally can't get over there to cast haste at all. He's too fucking slow. He's a, he's a fucking slug. I don't want twin spell. Turn this off. Why can't I do my leap now? Wait a minute. Because I used all my movement? This is terrible. Wait a minute. I can fly. All right. Wind spell. Haste. Shadow heart. And Orpheus. That's what we needed. Now they're both haste. Good. Because they're going to be my squad moving up here trying to get to the, to the crown. And that's it. Yep, because I have no more turns. It doesn't even matter what I do here. I have no turns. So, okay. Orpheus' turn. That's a lot of movement. Okay. Stunned! Beautiful. Stunned his ass. <clears throat> so, where's the one? Here. Where's the one that attacks people who are already stunned? Because there's this, an ability that does that. So here we go. Lobotomize a creature that is stunned, prone, sleeping, or unconscious. Not enough movement. Oh, come on. I want to lobotomize him. They're not going to let me lobotomize him? I want to lobotomize him. Come on. If ever there was a time to lobotomize someone, it's now. Levitate, he's already levitating. I can't fly over there. There's no ability to. Look, he doesn't have it. And he's already levitating. So they won't let me get over there. Yeah. This sucks. Wait, what if I do this? Can I do this first? Yes. Oh, but it knocked him back. So now I still can't lobotomize him. Damn it, fucker. Just once, all I ask is to be able to lobotomize someone once. Is that too much to ask? Yeah, apparently so. They will not let me lobotomize this man. Well, forget it. Uh, can we do this again? I can do it twice. The only bummer is then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in harm's way because this guy's gonna attack me, right? It might not be that bad, though. And I'm gonna see if I can get Shadowheart. She has all these turns to walk up and follow him and try to buff him. Well, if I do Force Tunnel again, it may kill him, it may not. Let's try it. It killed him. It killed him, but now this guy's gonna attack me, so hopefully the key won't fuck me up, right? We'll see. What about our, our uh, resident genie? Can he help? Maybe he can teleport over here and try to help uh, Dame Aelin. Yeah, he can. Damn! It had a constitution saving throw. This she died, this dream guardian died, but I didn't get the same Dame Aelin. It didn't work. So I need to get Shadowheart as close to Orpheus as I can get her. Alright. Got to move. 
The problem is, man, did he fucking rocket up there with a fucking turbo in his ass. So I can misty step over there. Or I can just dash. Yeah, I want her to help to buff him. Oh my god, the movement is ridiculous. Holy shit. The movement is insane right now. But I guess move all the way up and buff him. I want her to be the target, not him. Now. What do we want to do? He's okay. He hasn't taken any health. Oh, he took a little bit of damage. Not a lot, though. Okay. So what do we want to do? I mean, we have so many options at this point, right? Yeah, this is the final fight, I guess. I didn't forget about the allies, but I'm trying to do what I'm told. I'm being told I have to do this in four turns or else it gets harder. That's what I'm trying to do. So let's see. Sunbeam has a limit. Oh, that sucks. I was hoping I could hit two in a row, but it has a range limit. See that? Shit. Oh. Uh... What to do, what to do? I really don't know. Too many options at this point. He's immune to fire, correct? Yes, resist- No, no! He's resistant to cold. Oh, okay. I could call forth allies. Yeah, you know what? Fuck this. I'll call forth allies. Alright, who do I want to help? Jurger, perhaps? How about a Hell Hellrider platoon? Let's get a Hellrider platoon right here and see what happens. Alright, we got a team of three. Hopefully they help out. Devilor's with them, which is awesome. Alright, and now I think we'll just do Sanctuary on Orpheus. And that's our turn. Okay. Nice. Why did you walk back into the fire? What the fuck? Nice. It freed. Wow. Freed Dame Aelin. Perfect. And you died in the fire because you walked into it. They committed suicide. Well, Lazelle just died. Well, Lazelle is down. Not dead. Running? Yeah, running away, coward. Yup. Game Halen's turn. He said, Ugh. Poor Lazel. I guess we're gonna have to have Karlak revive Lazel, but Lazel's standing in a line of fire. She might die even if she's revived, right? Wow, those iron gnomes are real smart, huh? <laughs> that was great. They fucking seriously just commit suicide. You're morons. If I do this, can she revive Lazelle? Probably not, right? Yeah, she's gonna get an attack of opportunity no matter what, so I'm gonna have to attack the dragon. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll save. It's a good place to save. Split the part. <clears throat> and likely I'll finish this fight in the next part. Um, I actually received a dollar forty tip. From Jeffy Bezos, before you have Orpheus interact with the crown, do a save. Okay. Fair enough. I guess that means there's something else coming. Okay. Good stuff. Let's split the part, and then we'll continue with the final battle.